Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Tuesday, June 14th, 2022. All right, let's get started. One across. Hot dish that sounds cold? Hmm. Is it going to be like a burrito? <laughs> I don't think that's right. Let's see if we can get some crossing help. Taxi. I guess that could be a cab. 2001 A Space Odyssey Antagonist. That was Hal, the evil computer. Nest egg letters. That could be an individual retirement account. Yeah. Does that help on these acrosses? C-H-I. That looks like it has to be chilly, right? That does sound cold. Very funny. Is this going to be Aaron? Composer Copland. I guess it has to be, right? I've never heard of this composer before. Blank citato in the passage quoted. Hmm, this is interesting. I usually see the term opere citato, which means in the work cited. That's a Latin phrase too, but this is asking for in the passage quoted. So this has got to be the word for passage in Latin, and I'm not sure what word that's going to be. We're going to need some crossing help here. Rorschach pattern? That's going to be an ink blot, right? Isn't that the kind of stereotypical psychological test? Yeah, I wonder if we can get this first long across here. This is probably going to be our first theme answer. Easy order for a barista. I guess that would be black coffee, right? That would probably be the easiest order you could get, yeah. They play among the reeds. And this feels like it's being kind of tricky. I don't think this is talking about an animal that would be playing among the reeds in a swamp. I think maybe they're talking about reeds as in musical instruments. Maybe it could be oboists. <laughs> That's very tricky. It has to be oboists plural because they asked for they plural in the clue. That is super tricky. This is a very tricky misdirection for a Tuesday. I'm kind of surprised to see that on today's puzzle, although it's not unwelcome. It's very clever. Cucumber-like maybe. Well, some people can be described as cool as a cucumber, right? So that'll be cool. Not quite R-O-F-L, rolling on the floor laughing, so maybe this is just laughing out loud. Yeah. Bubbling away. Could that be a boil? Dictionary offerings. And because dictionary is abbreviated in our clue, that means our answer needs to be abbreviated also. So this is probably going to be definitions abbreviated. Loopy. Is that going to be daft? Increase as a pot. Is it just going to be add to? Hmm. Feature of five US presidents from Lincoln to Harrison. I think that's going to be a beard. Yeah, that kind of harkens back to our Lincoln Memorial puzzle from a few weeks ago. And this is going to be an ode, verse that exalts its subject. Yeah, that's right. Over step one's bounds. Is that going to be trespass? I think so. Inventor's protection. That could be a patent. Yeah. Lifelessly dull. Hmm. What could this be? Lifelessly dull. I'm not sure about that one. Easy on me, singer 2021. Was that Adele? I think it might have been. Plains figure replaced by Monticello on US nickels. Oh yeah, that was the bison. There used to be buffalo nickels before the Jefferson nickels. Very nice. Surprise win. That'll be an upset. So we have Abu, Abu Dhabi. Dip, hummus for one is a dip, yes. And S, feminine suffix. Yeah, I guess like waitress. That sounds right. Gin flavoring. I think that's going to be slow. That's a kind of berry, although it might technically be a droop. Or a stone fruit? Yeah, it's something like that. Lifelessly dull. Hmm. It's not like stodgy, right? Mont Blanc for one. I think that's the name of an owl. 
Yeah, we just had the French word for Alp on yesterday's puzzle. If Blank Street Could Talk, 2018 film. I think that was If Beale Street Could Talk. Book loving Disney princess in a yellow gown. Yeah, that was Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Whirlpool, that could be an Eddie. What do we have in this next long across here? Coil in a mattress. That seems like it should be a bed spring, right? So we have black coffee and bed spring for our potential theme answers. Hmm, I'm not really seeing anything these two things have in common. Coffee spring black bed hmm I don't know I guess maybe it could have something to do with energy coffee and spring are both kind of energetic things hmm I don't know if that's a great guess bit of lightning that's gonna be a bolt jello shapers I guess that'll be molds late singer with a food name is that going to be meatloaf? Yeah, that's right. Excellent. Okay. So maybe this is going to be our next theme answer. Ocean invertebrate with a round translucent body. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's going to end in jelly, maybe? Let's see if this is a J. PSAT takers often. Yeah, maybe that could be juniors in high school. I don't know what the beginning of this is going to be. Furious, that could be irate. Dollar sign, percent sign, ampersand, or at sign. I guess those would all be an example of a symbol. Nice, okay. Take me blank? Hmm. Take me as I am? <laughs> I think that could be it. Water power informally, I think that'll be hydro. Compadre, could that be an amigo? Yeah, when you have a foreign language word in your clue, that always means that they're looking for an answer in that same language. So because we have the Spanish compadre in the clue here, our answer is amigo in Spanish. Very nice. It is a tale told by a blank, full of sound and fury, Shakespeare. I believe that is, it is a tale told by an idiot. Yeah, signifying nothing. Oscar-winning film set partly in Iran. I believe that's Argo. Is this Moon Jelly? I don't think I've ever heard of that before. Outskirts of the Outskirts. Is that going to be the Boonies? Yeah. Moon Jelly. Very interesting. Black Bed Moon? Coffee Spring Jelly. Hmm. I have no idea what our theme is doing today. Sherwood blank? That's Sherwood Forest. That's where Robin Hood lives. It's connected to the tibia. Is that going to be the femur? Is that right? I think that might be right. Sheepish. Oh my god, this is so tricky. This is not about being bashful. They're looking for the scientific word that means like a sheep. That's going to be ovine. That one was nice and tricky. Intel mission. Is that going to be recon? Let's see if that's right. Let's check these acrosses here. Eves. Big nights before big days. Yeah, that's right. Like New Year's Eve. Mike. A live one might be hot. Yeah, you could be caught on a hot mic. Uno. Card players call. If you're playing Uno, yeah. And Ren. Kylo Ren of Star Wars. Yeah, that's right too. Hmm. So maybe this is going to be sterile? Yeah. Defeatist's assertion. Is that going to be I lose or I lost? What is this across? The Wasteland Author's Monogram? I believe that was T.S. Eliot. So that'll be T.S.E. And that does give us I lost in the past tense here. Bookish sorts? Is that going to be nerds? Flappers in a gaggle. Hey, it's going to be geese. Very nice. Always happy to see my fellow feathered friends on a grid. Slushy summer treat. Shouldn't that be an icy? So this is not I lost? Maybe it's I can't. There we go. Trumpet sound. That's going to be a blare. Operator of a stud farm. Hmm. Prevailing tendencies. Maybe that's going to be trends? 
Yeah. Community card between Flop and River in Hold'em. I believe that's called the Turn. I haven't really played much poker, so I might be wrong about that. I think that's right, though. Go According. And this is wordplay that's indicated by this question mark here. What you have to do with wordplay clues is look for a punny answer. So I don't think this is going to be about going on a date with someone. There's got to be some other kind of courting we could be talking about here. Hmm. Could it be talking about a basketball court or a court of law? Maybe it could be Sue. That would be about a court of law, right? That's pretty funny. That's a great wordplay clue. Gawk. Okay, that could be Stare. Artist Henri Toulouse Blanc. Uh, I know I've seen this name before. I want it to be like Lautrec. Uh, is this a C? Motley Blanc. Yeah, that's Motley Crue. That's a rock band, right? More robust. I think that's going to be Hailer. Like healthier. Yeah, that's kind of a tricky word there. Letter after pi. This could be a lot of things. I don't really know the order of Greek letters. Serviceable. Hmm. I don't know about this one either. Rights Advocacy Org. I think that'll be the American Civil Liberties Union. Again, this is abbreviated because we have an abbreviation in our clue. Some four-stringed instruments for short. Could that be ukuleles? That could be ukes, right? Yeah. I think this is Lautrec. Yeah. You know what? Why don't we take a look at our revealer? We've got a lot of crossing help here. Hopefully it'll shine some light on what's going on with these theme answers. Genre with a Hall of Fame in Cleveland, or what can follow the respective halves of 17, 33, and 40 across. Well, that has to be rock and roll, right? That's where the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is. So does that mean both halves of these theme answers can use rock and roll after them? Black rock, black roll? There's no such thing as black roll, is there? Coffee rock, coffee roll? I don't think there's such a thing as a coffee rock. I don't even know about a coffee roll. Bedrock, bedrock is a thing. Bedroll is a thing. Spring rock? Spring roll? Spring roll is a thing. I don't know about spring rock. Hmm. Maybe it's respective, so maybe it's black rock and coffee roll, bedrock and spring roll. Although there is a bed roll also, confusingly. Moon rock is a thing and jelly roll is a thing. Moon roll, jelly rock, yeah. That must be what they're talking about when they say respective in the clue here. It is a little confusing that there is such a thing as a bed roll. <laughs> yeah, so. That's a little weird. I think that's the only one that happens to, though. The other ones kind of stay in their lanes, yeah. Okay, so let's see if we can finish off this bottom part here. Letter after pi. Maybe this could be row, and this would be of use? Yeah. Common conjunctions. That has to be ors. John of Salisbury? What are they talking about here? I have no idea who this is. John. Oh, you know what they're asking for? They're asking for a slang term for a toilet because John is a slang term for a toilet and they're asking for of Salisbury. So that means they're asking for a British word for a toilet, which I think is going to be a loo. Yeah, very funny. This is a very tricky clue here. There's been some really nice tricky cluing for a Tuesday puzzle today. I really like this. Acid. And this is in quotes, so this is like a slang term. Usually quotes indicate an equivalent phrase, but I don't think that's what we're dealing with here. It's just a single word. Acid is a slang term for LSD. Sometimes they also use quotes to indicate that the clue and the answer aren't using an equivalent kind of speech because acid is a slang term and LSD is not. That's why they're giving us those quotes to clue us in on that fact. Okay, so we have another wordplay clue here. P 
pizza dough. All right, so this is not talking about pizza dough. That's kind of what it sounds like. I think what they're actually asking for is a kind of dough or money that they would use in Pisa, which is in Italy. Yeah, and they would use the euro in Italy, right? So this will be euros, plural. Very funny. And what's our last across here? Put down new turf on. I guess that could be resod, yeah. All right, let's throw this R in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Tuesday puzzle in 27 minutes. That's a little on the long side for a Tuesday puzzle, yeah, but I think we were trying to figure out the theme and we didn't really have any luck with that until we hit the revealer finally. Yeah, it ended up being rock and roll. Rock will follow the first word in each of our theme answers while roll follows the second word. So we end up with black rock and coffee roll, bed rock and spring roll, moon rock and jelly roll. Yeah, this was a tough one to pick up on. Yeah, I don't think we had a chance of discovering the theme before we hit the revealer. And because bed roll is also a thing, that kind of was confusing to me for a while. Yeah, so I'm kind of lukewarm on this theme, but what really rescued this puzzle for me was all this fantastic cluing. We had a number of really tricky misdirection clues today, like this one, they play among the reeds for oboists. That's really, really clever. This is good too, this very ambiguous sheepish for ovine. Yeah, it definitely makes you think they're asking for bashful or shy, something like that. I also really liked John of Salisbury for Lou. That's a very clever bit of toilet humor there. There was also some really good indicated wordplay clues. I really liked pizza dough for euros. Sue is very clever for go according. And of course, I'm always happy to see some fellow geese on the grid. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed rocking and rolling with me on this Tuesday solve. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle, and I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.